Ah, the good old days, getting harder to remember. I've repaired all the rust and welded up both the fenders. I've answered all the questions from Tom, Dick, and Harold. Did I remember to call back that Ronald Fitzgerald? Almost time to mount the tub and do the last go-around checks. I'll need to sort out the harness. That's what comes next. I've ordered all the wiring and all the connectors. Guess I'll go out back and put on the reflectors. Welcome back. Scott Schiller from Ron Fitzpatrick G Parts and Team G503. Been doing a lot of little short videos lately on all the bolt-ons and accessories that are going on the tub after we complete the tub. And I'm getting close to that point now. Winding down, there's not very much left to do as far as the accessories and bolt-ons go. And then we're going to go around that whole tub project assembly, give it a nice scuffing, a clean down, and a final coat of paint. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be installing the rear reflectors that go on the rear corners of the G503 Jeep. There is different styles for different model Jeeps, and if you're interested in your model Jeep to order these parts, you can do so by going to www.rfjp.com or g503.com, and there's all the reflectors that would be for your particular Jeep will be on those websites. All right, let's dive in here, put those reflectors up. I've attached a small magnetic level to the back side of the Jeep as shown here, and that will just make it really easy for me to pull measurements from that flat edge there instead of the radius. You could use a ruler or a straight edge if you needed to and had somebody help you hold it, but that magnetic level makes it really easy. Okay, I'm going to pull from that flat side of that level, and I'll get a measurement to the center line of these two holes, and it's five and a half inches for the both on a center line, and then measuring from the bottom side of the tub right where the radius ends, the measurements for the hole centers will be at four and eight inches. The the whole size is 17 64ths of an inch. I've repositioned the magnetic level on the opposite side so I can pull measurements from that flat and the top hole on the rear is at 3 and an eighth inches and then we'll go down here from the bottom of the tub and we'll measure up and that measurement is 4 and 7 16ths an inch to the center. Go back to the side of the flat of the level and the second hole is at 5 and 3 quarter inches and then measuring from the bottom side of the tub again, it would be an inch and 7 16 to the center of that hole. Again, the hole size is 17 64 and they are on a diagonal as shown. The fastener size for the reflectors is quarter 28 by half inch, and you'll need eight of them with the coinciding lock washers and nuts. A mounting kit is available at Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts, part number A1306K, that includes all the fasteners you'll need for all four reflectors. The reflectors, or reflex reflector assembly, is part number A1306CB, as these are the Corcoran Browns that I'm using here on the 43MB. I'm going to orient the top as shown so that the manufacturer's label is towards the outside or up. We'll take two of our quarter inch bolts and we'll insert one at the top and then one at the bottom and then you can fasten this through the holes on the Jeep and usually those threads will hold those in position while you get your lock washers and nuts ready to be fastened from the back side. At the end of the video, I'll show you from the back side where both reflectors are, where the fasteners go, the lock washers and nuts, but they are accessed from the back side of the tub. And I'll be using a 7 16 inch socket and ratchet handle. And then I've got this really nice screwdriver that I picked up with changeable heads. It's got slots that will fit the slots on the machine screws and bolts so you don't scratch up or damage the threads. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I like that to look nice. Next, we'll go to the outside reflector on the side of the Jeep. This is the driver's side. I mentioned, I should mention, both the measurements are the same on the passenger's and driver's side. You just have to reflex them or do the exact opposite ones when you do the opposite side there on the passenger side. Again, we're just going to hold this up. I'm going to put the manufacturer's label to the top. I'm going to insert the two bolts and then fasten it through those two holes and then reach through the back side of the fender there, the fender well, and then install the lock washers and the nuts. I'll show you on the inside of the tub here where the fasteners are, the lock washers and the nuts. The top one for the outside one is inside the toolbox, and then underneath here, we'll zoom underneath, you'll see the two for the back go on the outside there of that mounting bracket where the bracket goes to your frame, and then the other one for the outside is right there behind your fender well. I just use the screwdriver to hold the outside and then use the ratchet to tighten those down. As you notice, I've got my screws heads clock there. I like to do that. I just think it looks nice. It probably wouldn't have came that way from the factory. And you see here though they're installed on both the passengers and the driver's side. This project came out fantastic and I'm really enjoying these reflectors. Hope you enjoyed the video and that's the locations where they're installed. 
Thank you for watching. It's a little simple things like that, but little things like that, a little gingerbread as we call it, that's what really makes these G503s special. And as I say, we've just about got it all done now. So in the near future, we will be installing the tub and then I have to dive into the wiring. And I'm getting really excited to do that because uh, the wiring is gonna be a really cool video to show people. It may take a little while to do it. It's gonna be hard to film, but just look for that in the future. If you'd like to subscribe and follow along what we're doing with the 1943 Willis MB, you can do so by clicking that subscribe button and click that bell down there also so you know you get notifications when we relaunch new videos. All right, my friends, until next time, keep those reflections in your mind. Keep it safe. Happy Jeeping.